Hey, welcome back, Forex fans. This is Rob again from Explominate here again with Pax Nova. And it's mid game. We are now turn 176. And we're playing through to figure out what's going on in this world, right? And last we learned, or last we left off, we were following this colony ship because I want to see where it's going to go. Uh, one of the complaints I had about the AI is that they don't, they don't colonize other planets, but it looks like I am wrong. So, or at least they've been improved, which is great. So, uh, you want my current maps for 490? Yes, you can take them. Very good. All right, so then we have this destroyer squad that we can go ahead and improve, which we will. And we'll have them heal as well. So, let's go ahead and figure out who else needs to be moved. Move you down here. All right. So, there's not much left of the, the galaxy here to explore. And it looks like they moved on to Smudator. And the Koive Syndicate's there. So it's good to see that they are doing what I was hoping they would do, which is exploring and colonizing other planets. That wasn't something they were doing much of in the previous builds, so that's good. Alright, so let's go ahead and send... Oh, I can't send a colony ship because it has to come from a colony. So we'll go ahead and send this colony ship from here. Let's see, how, how close are they to making another system? So they're pretty close. They're 10 turns away. Who's closer? Five turns away. But do they have a space? Yes, they do. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take one from here. And we'll go ahead and rush that as well. And... There we go. So let's go ahead and continue exploring up this way. And yay, yet again, it does that stupid zoom. And we're going to bring this colony ship up there. We're going to compete with the Koive and the other place too, the other group. Um, all right, and turn. Hacker Collective has contacted us saying they will successfully manage to act the Lotus Brotherhood and access blah blah blah. Accept their offer, yes. We'll do whatever that, that wants. The Temple are declared war on the Lotus Brotherhood. Alright, so it looks like they are just warmongering a bit here. I believe the Lotus Brotherhood's the other group here. But look at this. They don't have any other cities. They're not expanding. So that's not good. Um, that's not good at all. So they have plenty of room, and on my original colony, they or my own original planet here, only the Eastern Resistance actually expanded. So might need to be some more tweaking of the AI for sure. And something worth noting in my review as I continue to progress with that. All right, land portals, very good. So there are land portals, I believe, on my starting system. Why am I seeing all this? I don't want to see all this. It's not that, it's this. There we go. I believe there was a land portal somewhere. Uh, maybe not. Maybe there would be one over here, but I have to go look. So let's go look. Let's take the artillery tank and look. And then you know what we'll do? We'll also take this. No, we won't take the light tank. We'll take one of these. And the scout will be a good one to take. In fact, let's see if we can make the scout even faster. Take a look at the scout. And anything we can do, either first of all, no, no, no. Negative, big negative. Specials. Ooh, let's see. What's that? Nope. Flamethrowers. We don't need that. Alright, so there's nothing that I can do just yet. Maybe there was something that I could have done before. Great Minds. Unlocks the call of Great Minds of Edict. Uh, it finishes our current research next. That's cool. Um, FTL boosters. I don't really care. Genetic modifiers. Let's see if there was anything I could have done to make my stuff go faster. Outposts, reinforced armor, hard metal. Nope. 
Yeah, I don't see anything that would have made anybody go faster. So maybe something in Technology 4. Titans, System Probes, Surprise Wars. That's pretty cool. Pyrite Furnaces. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm just naming shit off at this point. <laughs> Iron Giant. So there's mechs now. I forgot to mention that. There's mechs in this game with the newest update. So Iron Giants. And then there. So it doesn't look like there's anything that's going to increase my my terrestrial travel. So with that being said, let's see. Solar explosives, dead eye, ray damage weapon for ship class. Deals 105 damage and cost OCM, which I have a shit ton of right now. So let's go ahead and get the dead eye there. And the destroyer squad here is now ready to go. We're going to send it to auto explore. Ethanerium, which one's that? Is that the. Yeah, you, we have a lot of that too. So you can have some for 510 credits. That sounds like a plan. All right. We'll take these guys out. No, I don't want to. I actually, we did pretty well against them. But I don't really want to fight them. I'd rather go and get that anomaly. Whatever it may be. Yeah, we'll sign that. We're just going to keep signing these things. <laughs> I wanted to buy space mining. I will offer 845 credits for it. Jeez, you really want it. Um, I'm going to say no. And whatever the hell that thing was. Oh, great. We're under my control status, so. Search the shipwreck. We will send... How far are we away from that? Yeah, we're, we're pretty far. But we're going to go that way anyway, so we can kind of explore through there as we go through there. Miani has gained a new citizen, which is great, because it would have been the citizen required for what I took away. What did I take away? Because they look like they're all used right now. Oh, this is from the other planet, or the other city, sorry. And the other planet, too. <laughs> All right, so let's look and see what we're going to do here. What we've got are... Ooh, this is a good one here. Um, This should have allowed me to move here, so I'm not sure why it didn't. Because now with this built, it should have allowed me to take these. But it didn't, so that's strange. So I want to extract the titanium here, too. So what I can do is I'll build a residential district here. In hopes of it moving over that way, too. So we need that titanium. For sure. All right. Let's explore our first colony or our first planet just a little bit more. There's only a little bit left to explore, but we should finish it. All right. No, they're going to destroy my nomads. Oof. All right. Well, here we go. We're going to go ahead and set this here. And then we're going to take this. Nope. That's not what we're going to take. Here we go. We need to get away from there quickly before they kill me. This looks like a great place to start a new colony. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Confirm. All right. A little bit of everything here. So, and then we're just a... Actually, there's an industrial boon here, but we'll take the farming district first so that we can get things kind of kickstarted that way. Maybe not, because I, let's do the industrial district first. And then we'll put the farming district there, even though it's not gonna gain us anything, because I don't, I don't want to take away from this research boon here. So let's go ahead and just rush both of those. And you can come up this way. Just fly on over there. There you go. Oh no. It destroyed it. You mean little shit? Alright. You know what we'll do? We'll take... That's not mine. That's not mine. We'll take this destroyer squad. Actually, we'll go ahead and let them heal first. 
Do we have enough? I don't have an, any more titanium. But I can come back to my original planet and buy titanium from that one place that I did last time. There we go. We'll buy some. And we'll come back out to our starbase. We'll build the destroyer squad again. And we'll pay the 500 for it. I feel like we can make you great use. Would you show them for four ethanurium? Um, yeah, I mean, I don't really care. Will the wood requires one ethanurium. Hardened alloys. Connect damage ground for class steel. Six damage. Tempest rifle. Class B. No way. Get out of here. Um. Nope. Not a chance. Thank you. Alright, so we've got that. Eastern Resistance announced. Third Eye Society Demolition Squad design has been upgraded. Everyone's been upgraded. Alright, so then Raz has leveled up to seven. Very cool. What does that get me? Jack shit. Alright, so... Yeah, like, the city levels have not really impressed me at all. Like, whoop de doo Um... That doesn't really excite me. We'll choose research. We'll go ahead and look at... Hmm... Oh, we're going to do Deadeye. That's right. And I don't believe there's any city portal or any portals on that. So what we can do here is we're going to go ahead and build a scout and rush it. And then maybe hell. Let's just rush everything here. <laughs> I have a feeling we're going to go to war with the, uh, the a-holes there anyway. So let's just do it. All right, and we'll bring this back up this way since that one banshee killed our poor little nomad ships. All right. So we've got heavy infantry now. It might be worth attacking these guys now before things get a little bit too, too, uh, like they might, I don't want them to catch up. I feel like I have a technological advantage right now, so I might want to just go ahead and take advantage of that. All right, so Raza, let's go ahead and build a military academy here, and then we're going to build, let's see, what can we do here? Um, yeah, let's see if we can build a residential district there. There we go, because I would like that spot right there. And we'll go to our next planet. There we go. We're going to go ahead and just move on out. See what we can do to take these guys out. All right. You just do you now, I guess. It doesn't matter. Actually, take that first, and then we'll come attack this, whatever this is. I'm going to look it up. Do I wish to buy Osium? No, I've got lots of it. Thank you. And let's go ahead and declare war on these guys. It's got to happen. So, Templar Order. They don't really like me. That's fine. Um, we would like to declare war. I'm just going to call six influence, but I don't care. You dare challenge the void. Yes, of course I do. That's weird. I have definitely had more than one war. So getting a, uh, an achievement for first war seems funny because I have definitely had war. All right. Um. Yeah, let's start killing you. Whoa. That was actually really not how I planned on that going. <laughs> How are you still doing any damage to me? Lordy. That was not as exciting and as overwhelming as I thought it would be. Looks like they've kept up pretty well in the technology department. Or they're doing a better job of... No, I don't need that. I need them. Of... Designing their units. Wow, they've actually taken this. So it looks like they're actually winning the war against... Oh, they won the war. Huh. 
That's fine. We're going to win this war. I may regret this, but it'll be fun. More fun. Search the debris, and we found five Ermiakata. All right, so that's definitely a stronger group of infantry. Man. Lordy. Punks. Let's go ahead and kill this thing. What is it called? I meant to I meant to look. What is it called? What is it called? What is it called? Sarah Manta. Okay. And we'll go ahead and upgrade this one. Oh, okay. No, we won't. I lied. Alright. Not much left to explore, which is good. I wanted to see what we had. Uh, well, there's still a bit, actually. Alright, so there's a new citizen here at Akroma, so we're going to utilize that in a way that I have no idea. <laughs> um, yeah, let's go ahead and do the research. I thought I did this, but maybe I went back on it. So, what we could do, too, is declare war on these guys. I'm in good terms with these two, so I don't really want to do anything with them. But the Eastern Resistance once attacked me. Ashanti Union, let's go ahead and make this a little bit more. You know what? We have a proposal for you. Let's go ahead and make an alliance. Let's happen. Let's make it happen. And I'll share my maps with you. There you go. Very good. All right. So now we're allied. I'm going to keep them in my good graces. Or I'm going to let them stay in my good graces. Yeah, there we go. And in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and start war with... Mm, let's see, 80 kinetic damage, 100 kinetic damage. And then you will go ahead and upgrade you. And it looks, looks like they might be moving on somebody. Hmm, let's take a look and see what they're doing. Are you at war with somebody? I don't know, I can't tell. Knowledge, 31. What is my knowledge? 47. I have a feeling I have quite the knowledge advantage. Wow. The Lotus Brotherhood is absolutely just super behind. But, oh, that's why. Look at that. First of all, they have two seals. And they're very close to me in technology. So they are the good person to attack. Because I need to get rid of them before they're too strong. Of course, they're not that close. Lordy. All right, master ship riders, explosive damage for class ships, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Heavy duty, kinetic damage, weapon for armor class. Yes, well, we already did that. So we'll need to make sure that we can take advantage of that. Let's, um, what do I need for 50, for 50 knowledge? I've got 47, okay. Political master class, let's do that. And then you know what we're going to do? We're going to upgrade our... What are we going to upgrade? We're going to upgrade our light tank to take advantage of our Genie Gatling gun. Yeah. So either that or we have solar rockets. Shark shells. You know what we're going to do? We're going to actually make a new one. So... Confirm. Oh, sorry. Come out of here. I'm going to create a new design. It's going to be an armored vehicle. Yeah, we're going to do an armored vehicle. And we're going to take our titanium. And we're going to make the Genie Gatling gun. And as a special, we're not going to worry too much about it. But we're going to call it the Genie... Oh, no. Light armor, then. Let's do that. So, uh, 75 versus 90. Let's just do this and not worry about all the other stuff right now. And specials. It doesn't really have many. 
the genie tank. All right, move my units. Oof. Major victory, let's take it. How did they, wow. They're doing way more damage to me than I'm doing to them. So that's frustrating as hell. We're gonna go ahead and get, where's my, oh, that's right. We're gonna come over here and grab my genie tank. And maybe two, we'll do two. We're just gonna have to wait. Actually, you know, now, I wonder why it's taking that long. What's the red? Either way, we're gonna, I don't know what the red is. All right, move back one so we can heal. Awesome. They're definitely beating me here. <laughs> uh, I think I screwed up. All right, 300, and then we'll come back up. Lotus Brother declared Templar as their ne nemesis. Very good. Light tank. Looks like we've almost explored everything here. I'm going to go ahead and leave these guys on standby for now and focus on this one. What's with the red? I need to know what's the red because clearly, oh, the city's territory is currently backing by at least one enemy and therefore all production is paused and no one is completely placed. So I can't even build anything here even though I've got them done. So I guess I need to do something about that like now. All right, let's send... All right, so where is that again in the grand scheme of things? I forgot where that planet is. It's called, it's called Chult 4. So Chult 4, where are you? There it is. All right, Chult 4 here. So let's send Let's send these destroyer squads that way. Cause I'll be able to, I think they're able to attack on the ground. So shock ship ray damage. There we go. Let's do those two and we'll go ahead and drop the, the uh, either, either for it. Mm, this is not good for me. I'm going to lose that planet. Um, hmm. Wow, very good. Um, so I'm a bit caught off guard by how good these guys responded to all this. In fact, I'm not going to be able to do anything about it. And they're going to be able to take this out. So I'm going to have to fight back for it. Which is kind of exciting. I'm excited about that. So let's go ahead and... What am I going to do with these guys? Alright, you know what? We'll do another financial district because I really need some more finances right now. I was doing well with finances, but now I'm going to have to do some more work. So invasion ships can go to orbit and explore space. How, what is... An invasion ship real quick so let's look at it and take a look at what about an invasion ship makes it an invasion ship so can create an outpost all right there we go we're gonna need one of those so invasion ship it is we'll use it to either and we'll get one more turn going um yeah that sounds fine whatever I'm going to lose that planet, so I need to figure out a way to take it back. Yep, there we go. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. I lost it. All right, you come up here. 
Cholt 4 is now not mine. Ugh, I hate you right now so much. Alright, so what do we have here? We're going to go ahead and send this invasion ship up. And we're going to take it to Cholt 4 here. And in the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it an episode. And we're going to go ahead and come back as we get to invading my old planet. <laughs> oh, man, I'm such a... I did not expect them to, to respond that way. Let's put it that way. Because so far the AI has been kind of lackluster. It's not something I couldn't have defended against if I hadn't thought more about their defense capabilities. And plus, honestly, their, their units aren't weak. They're not nearly weak. So, you know, they're doing all right. But we'll come back. So this was Rob from Explominate, and stay tuned for episode three coming up soon. Thanks again, guys. Until next time, keep exploring. Bye.